Hey guys, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about five fragrances that can solidify, help put it in high gear or engage, keyword engage, your relationship. What I mean by relationship, that's a broad spectrum. It could be anything from a chance encounter. Isn't that a section of Craigslist? Missed encounters? Misconnections. That's it. I know about misconnections, otherwise I would have never known about it. When I used to work at Best Buy, I came in one day and everybody started looking at me and they were laughing and like whispering conspiratorially. I'm like, what's going on? And finally, a workmate told me, uh, yeah, your name appeared in Misconnections. I'm like, what? Apparently some had come in and uh, I had helped out in the DVD section and made a movie recommendation. The Misconnection paragraph started with, your name was Tommy. And it just went on from there. Anyway, maybe you're going to go out for a night on the town, maybe you're going to a get-together, a social gathering, but you're going with the intent of meeting someone that maybe you can have a meeting of the minds or someone that you can hang out with. Uh, maybe you're looking for your soulmate. Whatever the level of, of relationship that is that you're looking for, you want a fragrance that's also going to be right there for you like a best friend is your wingman to help you engage and, and be your best in that situation. So that's what we're talking about today. Five fragrances that are gonna help you up your game in the relationship arena. These five fragrances have been handpicked and curated by none other than yours truly, specifically for you to help you, again, up your A-game, turn that no into a definitive yes, turn a flake into someone who shows up time and time again, and to help whittle down that ever-present and unfortunately necessary bitch shield that women have to wear to protect themselves from the apex predator frat boy or the majorly nervous and awkward dork master. To finally get you, the man of her dreams, into her field of notice, awareness, and her, into her spectrum of possibilities. Because that's who you are. She just doesn't know it yet. And the vibe your fragrance sends out will go a long way to laying the groundwork for whatever relationship you wish to create and foster. First up on the list is Calvin Klein's Euphoria Intense for Men. Take it away. Free the fantasy, Euphoria, Calvin Klein. The words euphoria and intense kind of give all the right ideas, thoughts, and, and imagery. They throw out all the right signals for intimacy, and so does the fragrance behind the name. Top notes of ginger, pepper, middle notes of black basil, vetiver, sage, and cedar. Wrapped up in the arms of base notes of labdanum, amber, patchouli, agar wood, and myrrh. Euphoria Intense is sweet and seductive with an oriental vibe. It just begs to be used in an intimate setting where you create your own bubble. And Euphoria Intense is specifically slated to engage the sense of attraction, sense of imagination and wonder. It's, it's specifically for two people to enjoy in an intimate setting where the two of you can enjoy each other's company in that softly diffused framework. You can find Euphoria Intense at various retailers and always online at fragrance.net for under 30 bucks and at perfume.com for just over 30 bucks. So grab it while you can. Second on the list is Wanted by Night by Azaro. Now this fragrance doesn't get as much love as I think it should, but that's okay. We're going to give it plenty of love and attention today because it has plenty of love to share and it's all about that heady sensation and near tangible excitement of getting to know someone new for the first time or solidifying a long time love. With a bottle shaped like the chamber of a Colt 45 and shooting nothing but bliss bullets. I think I just spat that out. Mm, my mouth is already watering. I can smell the juice a little bit. Shooting nothing but bliss bullets, that's right, you heard me. Allowing you to exude confidence and power. Wanted by Night is the evening edition of the original Wanted by Azaro, featuring top notes of cinnamon, mandarin orange, lavender, lemon, winding down into uh, mid notes of red cedar, incense, cumin. You'll have her cumin back for more. Okay, no and some distinctively fruity, sweet notes. Base notes of cedar, cypress, and tobacco, and also that 
round it out with that warm benzoin and the soft and comforting ISO E Super. ISO E Super to me is like a blanket fresh from the dryer. It's not only warm and soft, but it also promises that warmth to go on a lot longer and be a little bit less utilitarian, both of which smooth out the rough edges and enhance the remaining notes of leather, patchouli, and vanilla. Like the name implies, Wanted by Night is not shy about its motives. With an effusively woody and oriental profile that promote unabashed expressions of masculinity with an exotic blend of spices and accords, Wanted by Night is your answer to Temptation's Call. And that answer is a powerful and definitively provocative yes. Promoting the elegance of contrast, like yin and yang, you've got chrome and copper. It's not copper, but it's kind of like copper color. Chrome and amber, yin and yang, male and female. With a powerful projection, Wanted by Night will be the only blanket that you'll need. And with a longevity of six hours or more, stick around long enough to ensure its fullest expression of its true unabashed nature. You can find Wanted by Night at most retailers and of course always online at fragrance.net for under 45 bucks and at perfume.com for just under 50. Be careful though, I made a noob mistake when I first ordered it and I ordered Wanted and got it in when what I really want, wanted was Wanted by Night. So just be careful. Of course, it's obvious that the juice in, in Wanted by Night is much darker than it is in Wanted. Third on the list is Angel for Men by Terry Mugler. Angel sounds like a contradiction in terms because I don't know any man that is an angel. The devil, maybe, but when you smell the fragrance itself, you know exactly what it means because it is absolutely heavenly. Terry Mugler himself designed the bottle. Now this one is has a rubber outside, uh, pretty thick rubber too, and you can actually replace the insides with a refillable cartridge, as it were. Uh, the other one is a shiny metal. So if you prefer metal, you can actually look at, for and order those. But it doesn't matter, the juice is absolutely the same. Like Wanted, Angel for Men is definitely not shy about why it's here. Like the saying, I don't wanna hear about the labor pains, just show me the baby. Angel comes up with the baby immediately. Holy complex polymer guacamole, this is really, really good. Not only will it show you the baby, it will make the person with you want to have your baby. No, but it's there to help your romantic story and push it along into the next level with no preamble, no origin story, no long rambling villainous monologue, no fancy and distracting red carpet. You just got straight up juice with one mission only and that is to bring intimacy to the table to bring someone closer to you and you closer to that someone. Just all you 24-7, 365, all nude all the time. Angel for Men features top notes of coriander, some fresh green notes, lavender, fruity and spicy notes, mint, and that ever-present and wonderful binder of bergamot. In the very heart of Angel are the accords of jasmine, honey, patchouli, a rich and creamy milk and caramel. In fact, in Tennessee, we have a grocery store chain called Kroger's, and in Kroger's, their high-end items, their store item brand items, are called Private Selection. And they have this caramel and sea salt lava cake, I believe it's called. And when you take one of those and put it in the microwave, that waft of steam and heat that hits you as soon as you pull it out smells almost exactly like the smell of that heart accord that is an angel. In tandem purpose and harmony as heart accords are base accords of patchouli, musk, benzoin, vanilla, amber, coffee, sandalwood, and tonka bean. I will say about angel as kind of an analogy, if you're trying to make an impression on someone by using a bravado or a confidence that really isn't wor yours, or using words, jokes, uh, a way of moving and deporting yourself, that isn't yours but someone else's, it's probably gonna come off not the way that you want it to. You're gonna come off disingenuine, needy, and not to put too fine a point to it, extremely awkward, combination of awkward and weird. All of us have been into some degree or another, is when you meet somebody that you want to impress, automatically you're gonna get the, you're gonna get nervous, right? Because you're you're invested. You want the outcome to be that they like me. So you get invested in that outcome. You see, being invested in making a good impression will often doom you to failure because it creates all these expectations and most of them are unrealistic because in a first impression, you don't have that much time to tell that person that you have a good heart, right? But there are things that you can do to promote yourself to make exactly the same statements, but it's counterintuitive, a little bit counterintuitive. But that's, that's where Angel takes up some of the slack. You smell the way that you do with this on, automatically that person's gonna be attracted to you, wanna know more about you, and why you made a selection of a fragrance 
that puts them in mind of someone they want to be closer to, right? Which is why it's so important to actually bring your A game. And Angel for Men by Mugler, Terry Mugler, bumps up your A game as well. You can find Angel for Men at various retailers and always online at fragrance.net for under 45 bucks. At perfume.com, it's just over $45. And you can also get the refill if you happen to have the actual flacon, the rubber. Fourth on the list is Alfred Dunhill's Desire for Men. Now, this is another very underappreciated underdog, as it were. Um, it is very, very inexpensive uh, to get. In fact, when I first I blind bought this because it was so inexpensive, and I was super stoked when I popped the lid off because it's kind of a cool lid. And smell the fragrance because it was amazing like it smells so good right out of the atomizer I'm like no way did I just pay that for this fragrance so there are some things that you can do to be just like this when someone meets you surprise them with your authentic genuine wit something that was they weren't expecting you know people always underestimate the value of another person so when you go out on a date with someone what you're meant to do is show them and impress upon them within a very short amount of time how valuable you are as a person in the arena of a relationship with them, if you wanna be in a relationship with them. So we're kinda of like throwing out these things in a silent auction, <laughs> as it were, showing uh, what kind of traits, qualities, who we are as a person, at least the agreeable and positive traits, qualities, and attributes. So some of the positive traits, qualities, and attributes of desire that will engage the person sitting across from you, sitting next to you, sitting on you, wherever they're at in your radius. I'm here to vouch for what I consider to be a, a considerable amount of perspicacity or insight into desire and seduction, this little gem right here. Just like a fragrance that has layers of notes, so the role of seduction is similarly revealed. Desire makes bold statements, yet with the eloquence to back them up, with top notes of neroli, bergamot, apple, lemon, and binding those softly whispered promises in the mid are passion's trifecta of rose, patchouli, and teak wood, held aloft on a base of musk and vanilla. And that's pretty much it. Not a lot, of, not a ton of notes, but notes in just the right amount. Every neuro association that you've ever had about that urge and that desire and need of want so much and so powerfully. And it elicits that emotion in the, not only the wearer, but the smeller, smeller, whatever they're called, the person sitting across from you. All of us have been there and, and, and all of us have those various triggers or patterns in us that make us feel that way, right? Sometimes we're even unaware of them. That's what's so wonderful about a fragrance like Desire is it takes care of all that. Sometimes we don't even know, it's in the chemistry, it's in the science, it's in the biology. So definitely add Alfred Dunhill's Desire on your list because it is very, very worth it. And I've had some great experiences with Desire myself in the dating arena. Plus it's ridiculously inexpensive. Again, because it's underrated and thus underappreciated. You can find Desire for Men by Alfred Dunhill in TJ Maxx, Dillard's, Marshall's, pretty much every department store out there. And of course, online at fragrance.net for under 25 bucks and at perfume.com for just over $25. As you can probably sense a pattern there. <laughs> There definitely is. Our fifth and final fragrance out of the five fragrances that will be your wingman in the dating arena for seduction and allure is Kenneth Cole's Signature. Now this guy right here is amazing. It's such a woody, dark, semi-oriental profile and fragrance and it smells amazing and it's a powerhouse. Oh my God. It's amazing to me how fragrances can have similar you can take two or three fragrances it's inevitable to have five fragrances together and they not have similar notes in them but they smell so exotically different like completely different and that's what i love about the world of, of fragrance and perfumery and blending because and, and just as an aside to the bottle is really cool the um lid is magnetized so you just drops on pops on there you cannot hold it up by the lid because of that but who cares, it's a really neat trick. Top notes of orange, violet, grapefruit, pimento, cardamom, followed by an angsty pairing of mid notes of orris root and water lily. You're bound to experience a little of the unexpected when you blend notes together like these, such as papyrus, amber, patchouli, and the ever-reliable guyac wood. Now sometimes guyac wood is hard to catch a sense of in fragrance, but what I love about this one is immediately you get that kind of 
warm and soft violet rose tryst that you know is Gaiac wood. It comes across very sincere and it imbues this fragrance with such a, a seductive allure. The person sitting across from you can't help wanting to get closer to this fragrance to smell more of and to get a sense of where it's coming from and where it will take you both. Signature's intrepid aptitude puts you all the more closer for getting to where you want to be in that relationship arena. Like all the other signatures can be found at various retailers and of course online at fragrance.net. You can get it for just over $25. And of course, as you're probably saying to yourself right now, just over $25 at perfume.com. Perfume.com has the additional offering of a tester for a little bit less if you're interested in getting a tester as well. Now I don't endorse or work for any company or any website. I don't get money. I'm not a shill. So what I'm giving you really are just my own suggestions. Make sure to do your own due diligence and homework out there. There are a ton of different places you can get fragrances. I've just had really good experience with these two places and so that's why I recommend them. Also remember that the pricing that you're seeing is based on November and December of 2019. Gosh, I can't believe it's almost 2020 already. It's crazy how time flies. So of course the, those prices could be subject to change as time goes on as well, based on whether the fragrance gets more popular or if it goes out of circulation or something like that as well. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing a few minutes of your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Get that buzz going. I wanna hear about your experiences. Perhaps you had a different uh, flavor of fragrance that you have a lot of success with in the dating arena or relationship world and it's always nice to share and that's what that's what we're all about that's what I'm that's what I'm doing here it's all about sharing best practices right and getting better at what we do be safe be good and take care I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you next time